So what makes Kettle's Yard remarkable? There's a wonderful sense here that the house is more than the house. Really, it's a place of ideas. It's a place of imagination. It's a place of inspiration. Kettle's Yard opened in December 1957 in some rundown cottages that somebody called Jim Ede had converted. Jim Ede, born in 1895 near Cardiff, eventually died in Edinburgh in 1990 at the great age of 95, had lots of connections to Cambridge. He'd built up a rather wonderful collection of modern 20th century art and he wanted to house it somewhere and he chose Cambridge. And in a way, this extension opening in February 2018 is the next big extension, so almost 50 years later. And what you can expect is no change in the house. For those of you who know Kettle's Yard, the house is very special. It's really a unique arrangement of objects and art. Effectively, the Kettle's Yard house is an artwork, and now we have a gallery and education and research spaces to match the quality of that artwork. The redevelopment has been more than I imagined, partly because the architects are just magicians with space, and we've been very fortunate with Jamie Fobert, Jamie Fobert Architects. You can decide that you're going to have concrete floors in the gallery. You can make a lot of decisions as the client to an architect. What their real talent is, the arrangement of space as you go into the galleries, the sense of sort of wow factor in a way, that what we used to have we did some excellent exhibitions, but we were using um, galleries that had been extended piecemeal over many years. Now we have proper air-conditioned galleries, state-of-the-art. My name's Rana Begum. I'm a visual artist and I live and work in London. I used to visit Kettle's Yard as a student and so it's brought back a lot of memories and it's brought back um, things that I was kind of researching within my own work so it's wonderful to have an opportunity to exhibit and take part in the show uh, called Actions, the image of the world can be different. It's a really important show especially Considering what's happening around the world at the moment, I feel like this is a time where everyone needs to kind of come together and really reflect on what's happening around us and do something about it. And I feel this show um, does that. I think there's a really exciting opportunity to bring the community who we work with, particularly in North Cambridge, together with the university and in a way to reinvent the idea of research, that research means finding out more, it means discovery. Kettle's Yard is owned by everyone and it's for everyone and when Jim Ede created Kettle's Yard, he opened the doors for everyone to come in. Um, so I think it's important that people build a connection and they see that it's relevant in their lives today and it continues to be relevant and it continues to develop and respond to our society. So we have our fantastic new um, education wing at Kettle's Yard and I'm particularly excited about the Claw Learning Studio which offers lots of possibilities for lots of different groups to really um, explore art and to release their own creativity. We now have an education wing. Um, we have bigger spaces which means that we can involve um, more schools, um, larger groups, we can now take a whole class. Uh, we can also diversify and widen our programmes to incorporate um, other things that we couldn't do before because of the space restrictions. We're able to provide um, workshops and public engagement programmes, family workshops, family events, so we can widen our audiences and allow more people to enjoy Kettle's Yard. I think at last it means that in terms of the temporary gallery spaces, the new temporary gallery spaces we have, the new education and the sort of research wing we have, we are now more than UK, sort of world class. Really these are outstanding facilities and we're enormously grateful to Arts Council England, Heritage Lottery Fund and numerous donors and trusts and foundations over the last 13 years who have got us to this point. And I think it's a recognition of how important this collection of art that has belonged to the university since 1966 means to Cambridge and indeed means to researchers around the world.